Kenny's on the Judiciary Committee by telephone, sir. Good morning, Senator. Thank you for your time. Want to get your reaction for the news of yesterday? What next? What next in terms of midterms, or what next in terms of uh, justice? Jeff, Jeff Sessions, sir. Jeff Sessions. Well, number one, um, I'm a big fan of, of General, uh, former General Sessions. I thought he did a good job. Number two, the president has the right to surround himself with advisors of his choice. Um, Jeff knew that going in. Number three, I don't think our new acting attorney general needs to recuse himself. Uh, number four, I, I don't think that uh, Mueller ought to be fired, but I do think he ought to hurry up. Um, I mean, it's been long enough. Uh, if he hasn't figured out what went on, if anything, in the election in 2016 by now, my guess is he's not going to figure it out. And he needs to report to the American people and let's get this behind us. Well, I think a lot of folks are trying to figure out this morning, Senator Kennedy, and thanks again for coming on, what this means for the Mueller probe and, and, and how this changes things now having Jeff Sessions out. Well, I don't know how it changes things. Uh, I just hope, I can tell you what I hope changes. I hope that, uh, that, that Mr. Mueller decides to wrap this thing up. Um, I know he's been working hard, but he needs to saddle up and ride harder and let's get this behind us. Um, he's, I don't know what's it been, two years? If he hadn't figured it out by now, he's not going to figure it out. Do you know I, what it, I think we all know what he's going to conclude. What, what, what the is Russians that? tried to interfere in the election like they've been doing for, I don't know, 50 years. And number two, uh, did they uh, ha influence the result in the election? No. Um, now, if, if he found that, finds out that somebody broke the law, uh, then he needs to indict him and prosecute him and let's have some justice. But whatever he does, he needs to wrap it up. Oh. Do you know Whitaker, sir? I do not. have not met him. I've heard good things about him. Um, I thought it was a little disingenuous of our Democratic friends to start pounding on him before he even has a chance to find the men's room. Uh, but that's just the way uh, politics is right now. I was hoping they had learned something from the election, and but we'll see. Hmm. Senator, how are things going? A couple of days out, there's so much news on, on all of our plates this morning. We're, we're still reeling from this tragic shooting in California overnight. Midterm elections were just a couple of days ago. Yes. Uh, what is the talk in Washington? Uh, what are people thinking here now as, as we wake up each morning now to a split Congress? Well, Sandra, I can just give you my perspective. A uh, couple of points. Number one, uh, we all heard about the blue wave. I, I think it's pretty clear that the blue wave was a blue dribble. Uh, we pretty much fought to a draw. Number two, I think President Trump and uh, the Kavanaugh hearings had a huge impact on the election, at least on the Republican side. Number three, we need to do something about the cost of health insurance. We, we, among ourselves, as Republicans, tried. We got no Democratic support. Mm. Uh, I hope now the Democrats will come aboard and let's figure something out, because mm. uh, this is not meant to impugn anybody. But Obamacare didn't work. I wish it had worked. It didn't work. we got to try something new. Right. Senator, Number thank four. You for, oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> I love Willie Nelson and Taylor Swift. I have their music on my phone. But uh, they must have been smoking some of Willie's dope when they decided to get involved in politics. Uh, I, think, uh, I think Hollywood needs to stay out of politics. I think the American people are smart enough to figure it out for themselves. Well, it, it would, it and would, number five, I hope that uh, our Democratic friends in the House will work with us. Senator and, Kennedy. And not just use their majority to, uh, to harass the administration. I hope they'll, they'll honestly... Uh, work with us on the Senate side to try to solve some of the problems that keep mom and dads up at night. It's 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 a busy morning and a busy week. And, and it would not be an interview without you dropping another classic line. So we appreciate Senator, that. Thank, thank you, you. Senator. We'll see you in person real soon. Thanks. I don't know what I said wrong, but no, I deny no, everything. <laughs> no, no, we appreciate you, having you on, Senator appreciate Kennedy. It. Thank you. For more on all this, let's bring in Ari Fleischer, former White House press secretary and a Fox News contributor.